Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's pick a card reading. As you can see, I have three um, piles set out. One, two, three. Uh, if you can read cards, tarot cards, please don't be thrown off by which cards were presented. The cards will speak to me based on my intuition. So just think about which deck pulls you. Today's question is, can I trust this person or this situation or this thing or whatnot? I have not looked at any of the cards as yet. I just, you know, pulled them out according to spirit and we're just going to roll with that. So I'm going to give you a few seconds or you can just pause. And of course, timestamps are below. So go ahead and choose one, two, or three. Okay, it's that time. All right, let's jump right in. Let's see, Spirit. Uh, can our viewers uh, trust whoever this person or this situation is? Okay, so if you chose pile number one, here's what I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting that you, my dear viewer, are in a situation where you're just tired. You're, you know, you had, this is, this is coming across as a love relationship. However, of course, please let it resonate the way that it's designed to resonate for you. So, of course, ask your angels and guides for help, you know, be, before you digest anything and your higher self. God bless you all. All right. So anyway, um, it looks like you're just so sick and tired. You're just like, you're so tired of gambling. There's a relationship that you're with. There's a person that you're with where, or you're counting on to come through. I'm getting that. There's someone that you're counting on to come through and you're making a gamble with this person and you're just, you're just done. You're tired. You, you, you had this, this uh, goal where you thought you were heading home to like this awesome castle, this fairy tale ending or this fairy tale situation or institution or whatever, whether it's a relationship or a job or a business partnership. And I see that you have been actively carrying these dreams around, maybe even telling yourself that these are real dreams, that the, the plans that you have, if it's plans, that they're real and they can work. And, and I think that you've been hearing some things about this person and it's really starting to weigh on your mind. So, um, yeah, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying that's right. So if this is you, I um, feel that you have been kind of listening to a lot of what you've been hearing and it's gotten to the point where you've been listening to it and the more you listen to it the more vulnerable you feel in this connection it's gotten to a point where you're just like soon I'm just gonna have no clothes on because I'm just completely feeling vulnerable and you are desperately wanting to know whether there is any fact to these rumors that you're hearing because it's starting to affect your health. So some of you, I'm feeling that if you may be going through some kind of health issues, whether they be headaches or just un unexplained things, diagnoses or just whatever that are sending you into the hospital or the clinic to find out, then you know chances are that it's related. So you may need to do some kind of energy work to, to get clear and to clear away this negativity. I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> clear some of that if I can, energetically, yay. Um, what I'm seeing for this person is that, um, I'm afraid to say the short answer is I do not feel that this person is trustworthy. I'm seeing that, bing, gotta break this guy out. I'm seeing that where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm seeing that, of course, you're in, going through a lot of fear right now, and of course, people are talking in your ear, and you're getting a lot, having a lot of fear thoughts and whatnot. But sometimes, my my dear, um, where there's fear, where there's fear, <laughs> where there's smoke, there's fire. And in this case, I really do think that that is it. Of course, there may be some fears that are exacerbating the issues, but I also see here that more than the fears that may be at play, it's there. There's there's for real, there, there's some truth to these rumors. And I think that this person that you're inquiring about, um, and I'm feeling that this may be a love connection or a business connection or some kind of connection that is intimate. Now, whether this is, phys is has anything to do with physical intimacy, I feel like, for example, if this is a business partner, you may be feeling that this person is closer to you than you think. Or, you know, I mean, we, we may do business with people, but they may not be our friends or we may not trust them with like everything right so whoever this person is relationship or business wise i feel that you've trusted you've entrusted them and i feel that on some level you know that having trusted them has not worked in your favor in many ways i feel that um 
uh, distrust that you've placed in them and the way they've acted has kind of jeopardized uh, your livelihood to some degree. Like maybe it's made you have falling outs with employees or falling outs with family members or friends or just, you know, bringing in drama into your life that you you know you wouldn't you don't necessarily have or wouldn't have had or if this person were on the up and up I'm also seeing that this person is coming across as the magician and to me the way that looks here is that they're spinning a weave they're webbing a weave of, oh my god it is definitely not that late I don't know what's going on but they're weaving a web around you and like they're lying they're telling you these little fibs it could be something as simple as oh you know so and so is just saying that because they're jealous of you or or you know they're saying that about this business and the way we run things and uh, but you know they don't really know about this industry and you know whatever it is I feel that this person is very intentionally taking advantage of your trust and maybe your softness toward them and so um, and they're well aware of that so I do I have to be honest I'm seeing some usury here and I feel like you may not be the only one that they're doing this to and um, yeah and you may not be the only one that they're doing this to you some of you they might be claiming that you are their favorite or you're their best uh, or, you know they, they favor you you're, you're the closest to them so they may be coming to you and appearing to you as a friend um, as an intimate as a close confidant or comrade and and the truth is that their intentions are to weave a web around you for the sake of gain, personal gain. So um, the short of it is uh, in answer to this question, can I trust this person or this situation? Uh, I would say no, okay? But of course, dear love, I mean go inside because all I can do is to tell you what my guides and and of course I try to connect to guides and spirit spirit teams of all the people who will watch the show and and you know I've done all that but at the end of the day it's you and you have to go inward and think about it so it's a no for for pile one all right oh I guess I should have let's see is there is there um you know, I didn't pull a card <laughs> to see if uh, there is advice from spirit, but I think this that spirit's advice is pretty clear to, I guess, okay, got it. All right, I just asked, okay. So spirit's advice, thank you spirit, for how to deal with this situation is to unlock yourself from it. Unweave yourself, one by one, unlock yourself. Now, what does that mean? It means taking practical steps to uh, get out of the connection that you may be in with this person. So if it's a business partnership, may, there may be legal situations, documents, uh, partnerships, whatever. Take, take the time to plan your exit strategy to go through the proper channels to do that. If it's a relationship, uh, don't just be like, I'm leaving, and then storm out. Of course, take the, take the steps that you need to gently <laughs> unweave yourself from this person. And I think a lot of this unweaving could be done on the energetic level, as always, dear God. Um, how do you unweave yourself energetically? It starts as simply, simply, it starts as simply as making a decree to your higher self that you would like to be clean and clear from all that doesn't serve your highest good ask your higher self to help you to visualize the people, places, and things, uh, situations that are blocking you from your highest good, and whether, you know, other things come up in addition to this situation, they're just going to come up. What you need to do at that time, what I would do to get started, is to breathe in beautiful, loving light and energy and that empowerment that you have, you know, and just breathe out. And as you breathe out, you exhale towards your angel so they can take it and clear it out, transmute it, exhale these things out of your energy field. So you can even visualize the person and the situation as being blown further and further away. And it doesn't hurt anybody. All it does is it clears uh, these cords, these etheric cords. And in addition to that, you start to work on the physical level by taking the, the steps that you need to kind of work through that. Cool? Uh, okay. Uh, of course, if you would like to uh, delve deeper into the situation you know where to find me <laughs> all right so let's move on uh, over to the second pile so thank you mwah, bing, to viewers number viewer number one bye hi guys if you chose pile number two let's delve right in Ta -da, bing. okay 
So for pile number two, what I'm getting is that you, my dear, have been in a tower moment. I feel that there recently was an event or, you know, it, maybe this event wasn't like, boom, this big event. Maybe it was something like something developed or something happened, someone said something, and it may have had a bigger impact on you than it may seem to have had on the relationship or in, or in fa within your family and friends or whatnot. I'm feeling that this is coming across as a love romantic relationship, whereas the first one was more open. It could have been applied to many different things, you know, business, uh, any kind of partnership. This one I'm feeling is a love romantic relationship. However, if you are watching and this resonates and it's not about a romantic partnership, it's about something else, then God bless you. Take the message. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that something may have just happened. There may have been some event that either blew up or may have had the, had the effect whether blowing up or not of crumbling and forcing you to go inside. Okay. I'm seeing that you know this relationship hasn't completely crumbled so it may not the other person may not even know that you're completely having this thought I mean I just that's what I'm just getting it's just something happened and now you're you're forced to kind of look inside and say is this a relationship I want to continue because I feel that it's had an impact I feel that you've been shaken to the core you know a bit about this and I see that right now the uh, choice that you're feeling, thank you Spirit for confirming, the choice that you're feeling is that um, on the one hand you're like should I leave this, oopsies, <laughs> should I leave this situation completely and make a brand new start? Should I send this person away or the situation away? Or should I stay with this person and, and have a more long-term commitment and, and you know go the extra mile because for some of you viewers leaving now may mean you know, leaving the relationship and continuing may mean investing in them, you know, having the family, the house, the kids, the whatever investment means. So you may be at a fork in the road and something may have happened where you're starting to think about this. Um, and I'm not just seeing this as a cold feet situation. I feel like something happened. You heard something, somebody said something, or you, or something happened, something from the past came back to haunt you guys. Whatever it is, yeah, it's just, it's shaking you a bit. And you're kind of wondering, well, what do I do here? Um, I feel, honestly, that you would be okay doing either option. And I feel that you're at a place where you're really like, hey, if I cut out and go, then I'm cutting out and going, and I'm, I'm all behind it. If I stay, then it's got to be a good reason for me to stay. <laughs> like, you need evidence or, you know, something a little stronger, because I feel that you're more thinking to go. Now, what I'm seeing here is the answer, the short answer is, uh, Spirit is saying, uh, yes, you can trust this person, and yes, you can move forward with this person. Because, uh, to be honest, I'm seeing that if you were to make a, a brand new start, yes, you may send this person away, but you'll always be carrying this idea with you about, would this person, would this have worked out? Would this have been, is this the one? Would this have worked out? Had I stayed and and I think maybe you would have been able to live with your decision but who wants to have that in the back of their mind right I'm seeing that spirit is showing that not only is this um, connection that you're inquiring about something that was designed before you came in I mean everything is but it was designed to be, bring you happiness and to be a long-term situation and to be a connection that would bring you happiness not only is that something that was in the plans but it shows that it has already been started upon like it's already in the connection and it can yield more so I really feel that this is kind of like a destined I don't want to say destined this is a moment where you you're make, gonna make a choice so free will is a factor but this could pan out for the better for you and in fact I'm seeing yes right in this card now um, further adding to this is bah, 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 this card it's it's um whenever i have this card it shows me the messenger and this one seems like a messenger from on high uh supporting this and they're saying that if you make this decision thank you they're saying that if you make this decision to go forward that you will see that this tower moment that you have had this this um concern that's popped up and rightfully so you know will be ironed out and it will be made like the tower will be strengthened what does that mean for example let's say that you're in this situation with uh, your honey bun 
and you may have known this is just for example I'm not reading this in the cards um, for example uh, you're in a, a relationship with your honey bun and you may have known that your honey bun was maybe a player in the past or even that they were in the things in the past that don't suit your lifestyle or just whatever it is and you know it's as a couple together it's been fine he or she hasn't been engaging in that things are good but then all of a sudden you hear something around the way someone says something or or you just get it into your head that something's going on and now it's like bringing back this rush of like wait a minute is this person really do like this still or are they have they changed I mean what's going on and it's just enough to create a, a core shaking for you spirit is saying that if in fact if something happened like someone said something or or you thought something you overheard something or just whatever whatever you're afraid of or whatever has happened will be righted so for example if people are lying about your honey bun it will come to light if there's if if there was a concern that came up it will be addressed so they're showing imagine and here because I do love to show my viewers the cards so they can get in on the action so this is representing, you know, this relationship you, you had, have, excuse me, and something came in and the tower hasn't fallen, but it's, you've been shaken. And if you look, it's like going right in. It's forcing you to, to, to um, make a decision and to stop and think. Now, this is the messenger card. Take a look at this sword. It's right here. It would complete this and close up this impact so what um what's being suggested here to my eyes is that um once you make the decision to move forward with this connection then you will find that everything will be righted and this is a connection that you would do well to hold on to if you take a close look at the image you've got images of these flowers and you've got these flowers in a 3d so the images show the the before life plan so this this was designed to bring you happiness this relationship not only have you one two three recognize some of this happiness but look one two three there's more to be had and at any time more of these flowers can pop into the third dimension you know pop into manifest so this is a relationship that i would say yes please do trust and put your trust in it and so, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put this little guy here. Ding! Yeah, just to kind of give you a little love and joy. All right. So thank you so much for if you chose pile number two, your short answer is yes. Please do trust this connection and you can trust the situation. All will be made well, but your job is to make a decision, a decision about whether or not to move forward. All right. The spirit supports it. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you know where to find me. Eh? All right. I'm going to move on to number three. Bye. Hi, group three. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we just finished groups one and two. Let's look at yours. Okay, so what I'm picking up for you guys is that you're in a situation where you may be thinking about starting some kind of partnership. And to be honest, this is coming across uh, not as a love relationship, but as a business partnership of some sort. Seems quite entrepreneurial. Now, again, it, the, the way energy works is that I'm reading for gen, I'm doing the general reading so spirit is going to present the information in, in as general as a way but yet as specific as a way as can catch as many people so please um, go with what resonates with you and leave what doesn't and if I'm saying it's a business thing but you feel the message re resonates for your romantic thing your romantic relationship then please take it for that but this is looking like a business entrepreneurial situation where you have um, it seems to be your baby, your 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 idea, and um, it seems like somebody, this other person, has been. Uh, it could be an organization for some of you guys. Very, very, very well could be an organization that you're signing on with to be a partner, do a partnership or something or consulting. Really feeling consulting, or this could be one person that is signing on or a team. But whatever this other entity is, a person or group organization, I feel that they came recommended to you. You're the one with the idea, but this person may have more, it has been told to you that they have more knowledge of the field, so the industry. So maybe you have an idea for um, a new patent or some kind of programming thing or something, but you don't really know the business side of, of um, uh, IT or just what whatever. This person has been recommended to help you 
go about that. Now, the question that you have in, the, the idea that you have in question here is, hey, I may not have much, but you know what, I don't want to lose everything I have. You know, I have this idea, I have this great idea, and I want to go out and enjoy it and, and see what I can develop, but I don't have the know-how, I'm a novice. So this person has been suggested, or this group or organization, they come with great recommendations, but I don't like the way they do business, okay? That's what it's coming across. It's coming across that this person is fundamentally different from you. Now, what does that mean? You here, you're coming across as a little bit more introspective, a little bit more laid back for some of you, more innovative, definitely. Maybe you pick up on energies from the stars I'm seeing. Uh, maybe you're more in tune. Yes, thank you, angels. They're saying that's right. Um, you may you, you just come across as more cosmic, more in tuned with yourself, uh, graceful. Not all it doesn't have to be graceful, but you see what I mean, and more just innovative and pulled by a vision and a desire. And you know, I'm not going to even go passion. It's not even along that line, but just more cosmic, cool. I don't know. And this other person comes across as like this, mm, very earthy, 3D kind of. You know, I don't want to say, what is his name, Scaramucci, or, you know, you know, the, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, kind of like, hey, I'm the business guy, come on, this is the way we do it around here, like, coming across like that. Then I don't think that you like this person's aggression. This person, that's the number one word, comes across as aggressive, business-oriented, not really caring about the product, and not even really listening to you. It's more like, you're like, hey, how about we get into this partnership with this this group and whatever this seller to sell this product this person's like boom all right I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna mm, 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 talk it out like you know so I feel that you don't really like the way this person fundamentally does business and commu communicates with others and connects to others because um, they're coming across as very more earthly whereas you're coming across as a little bit more um, and I'm not saying one's better than the other of course God bless uh, we all serve different functions but you're coming across as more I guess dedicated, yeah, to the vision of, of where your product can go and coming from this place of like, wow, I want to see what I can actually do with this and, you know, where can I go? And you're wondering, should I take my product and go with more innocent, quote unquote, people who share that kind of innocence and they're more in line with my way of doing things. And so that's where you find yourself. Um, but I do feel that you have some important decisions to make coming up and so that's why you reached out to this person or this agency. So again, right here, you're like, should I? I feel that you might have a really great idea on your hands. Um, I'm feeling IT to be honest, but it really could be something else. Um, yeah, okay, Spirit is asking me to, to turn this over as well from <laughs> number two. So thank you, Spirit. Um, the answer, and and you want temperance you want this person to be tempered a little bit more because that that temperance would combine create like this rainbow like in here this rainbow energy to complement your sunny energy sun and rainbows go together all right so spirits answer long and short is yes you can trust this person though. all right so sorry that was long-winded before i got to the answer so spirit is saying yes you can trust this person Bink. They're saying that not only can you trust this person, but this person, good Lord, this person has been destined to help you at this phase of your um, your process. Now, I feel that I have to say this phase because as with many things, businesses go and ideas go through phases. Maybe for right now, you need someone like this person to go in. They're, they come across as an old dog. They know the field. They know the industry. They know what it takes. They can walk the walk, talk the walk, talk the talk. You may not enjoy the way they do business, but they know how to get you through to the next phase now maybe in the next phase you may need a different kind of hand or something and and you will be alerted spirit will work with you in that capacity so they're saying for right now please do um trust this person and then trust the universe to take you where you need to go they're also saying take a look at this card lovely i'm sorry i just love i think his name's ciro or ciro marchetti he's just great he's, he's great with what he does anyway look at this uh the way this looks to me is that they're saying please try to avoid going through all the emotional ups and downs and and masking your feelings if you have something to say and if you want to say something to this person about the way that they're doing business 
tell them, be open, because this person comes across as quite direct, and they may surprise you by how well they're able to articulate their plan and articulate what's going on and even speak to the fears that you have. And Spirit is saying there's a reason why they are where they are and the reason why they come so highly recommended. I'm picking up that for some of you this is a medical recommendation, a referral, maybe to a doctor of some sort. So maybe you have some kind of procedure that's important and a decision needs to be made and they're giving you ideas on how to uh, go forward, whether it's like some kind of chemo or some kind of procedure that there are many choices as to how to do that. And you're, you know, understandably, you're concerned. You don't like the way they're they're going about it. They're not sharing your vision. They're saying you can trust this person because they, they know. And they've most likely had to deal with people like you and even more gentle and even more, you know, vision driven. And so trust them, okay? That's what Spirit is saying. Oh, okay, I, I'm being guided to pull a card for you. Um, and this is, this is, and of course I'll put the decks used because I'm that kind of person I like to know. I'll put the decks used. The, this is Archangel Gabriel cards. I love them. They're lovely. Anyway, um, for creativity based things, I just pulled vision board. It says create a board with images and words that inspired you. Now, of course, listen, go out and make the board. But the point is that they're really saying to, um, oh, <laughs> okay, I get it. I was like, are you really saying to go out and make a board? All right. The spirit has a sense of humor. God bless them. They're saying to get on board. Okay. All right. Thank you. Get on board with this. Because I was like, what? Really? <laughs> it seems like you have this idea already made out. I didn't know you needed a vision board. But um, get on board, they're saying. So, wow. Okay. I don't know who pile three is if this is resonating with you i just want to say not only boom are they saying do it they pulled this from over here do it and this is off camera do it all right so geez so um thank you so much for your reading if you'd like more um more information you know where to find me amen uh great job by the way okay thank you oh and i also do um i also do readings that pile three I also do readings for people who are stepping into mastery so if there's major a major project that they are doing in connection with spirit and yeah so anyway you can all check on that it's on my Etsy page anyway thank you so much guys feel free to email me with any questions or concerns and God bless you okay bye